Hi, Nick Tockert here with the Historical Fencing Guild. Well, folks, I'm taking a break from packing. In the next couple of weeks, I will be moved, so sometime after that, I should have an indoor fighting site, a much better space to do things like these videos, so they're not clustered on my couch with my handy-dandy quasi-portable spotlight of doom, you know, lighting it, so we should be much better. All right. On to the subject at hand. I wanted to do a little chat video because I've been getting some messages, again, IMs and stuff, from friends who are like, I've almost lost enough weight to start training, or I'm too out of shape to learn to sword fight. And it's annoying. And I'm going to tell you why it's annoying. Let's know. We had... We have a misconception. We have a misconception about martial arts, and we have a misconception about reality. And we live in an all-or-nothing society. You know, people, if you don't have, you know, like a nine-pack because your six-pack has extra abs or something, and you're not built like Jason Momoa, you can't learn any martial art. Or, you know, this this whole mis misconception. Uh, misconception. Never mind. Uh the truth is, when you're training, at the especially, it doesn't matter if you're sparring, drilling, trying to get a shape, you only have one opponent. And that opponent is the you that was, what I'm doing right now, sitting on the couch. The, the you that is doing nothing, because that's a temptation. Given injuries and stuff, training still hurts for me, and... With the stress level, it's, it's difficult. But I still try every day. Get a sword in your hand. And what I'm t I want to tell you guys, the people who want to get started, my specialty, what, what got me into what I do back when I was just starting doing stuff in the SCA was I'll work with the people who aren't, who at the time were not worthy of the instructor. The, one, the, the ones who, who he had decided through build or attitude or political connection deserved, they warranted training. I got the ones who weren't uh, chosen. And after a while, people got mad because my people I'd work with would do far better than what they expected. It's like, wait, you're short. You're, you're, you're fat. Fat is not a swear word. Although it feels like it to us. If you get up and you pick a, pick a SSO, sword simulating object, I don't care if it's a stick, if it's a foil. I've got a foil literally right here because I'm moving. This was gifted to me by uh, one of my students, a beautiful gentleman by the name of Peter Pidrak, whom I don't talk about nearly enough because I haven't seen him in a while. But uh, anyway, oh, pardon light. Uh... Whatever you're using, get up and put in the time. And the neat thing is, any time you put in is more than if you don't. So if you can only do five shots with whatever you're using, and it shouldn't be too heavy, but, you know, in a given, just even if it's just the basic four, just get started. You're, you're that far ahead. Sorry for my lights being a little argumentative. Uh... But you can do that, okay? That's the, that's the, the horrible thing. As a basic beginner, you can start out, and it's okay if you're out of shape. You know what happens? Life happens. You get sick. You get hurt. Maybe you find an injury or disability you didn't know was there. That's what happened to me. I'm constantly building up, having something go wrong, plummeting, building back up. And you do it, and what happens is it starts to get streamlined, and you discover some truths. And one of these truths is the basics are always what's key. Okay? Don't... People will always try to teach you stretch towards that sacred, secret style. Reach towards the hard to pronounce. Learn your guards. Learn your range. Learn your timing. Okay? If you have range and timing down, your guards... 
you can confront with, you can work with a bit more. You need to arrange your timing. I mean, you need to know how far you reach and be able to tell how far other people reach. So when you pick a weapon, train with one, one length of sword, at least at the beginning. I don't expect you to be like me where I can go, oh, this is this long, this is this long, and, and instantly rage. I don't expect that. I've been doing this nearly 20 years. We're around 20 years now. Dang. That one snuck up on me. Anyway, the point is get up and try. You can do it at home. You can do it in privacy. You don't necessarily have to seek out a group until you feel you're physically and mentally comfortable enough to seek out a group. But you can start right now. You can stop this video at the end. I mean, get through the end. Well, let me do my spiel, please. Or drill while you're doing it, if you've already learned the drills. Look, the very first video I posted, way back when, was a basic drilling because one of my students were like, Nick, I keep forgetting the drills. Heck, I have an hour-long beast of a sloppy rough hoon video I did for somebody that covers most of my most of the initial part of my book. I'm really looking forward to being able when we get the new site to go over later parts and including better ways to analyze and approach your opponents. But that's down the line. Right now, you need to get a stick in your hand. Get a target that won't break, but, a, you know, hang a pillow off the wall, something, and start drilling, start training. Learn how your body moves now and how much energy it takes. So you have to calibrate your body. You have to calibrate your exertion. And if you can only do it a few minutes, fine. Only do it a couple minutes. Maybe later in the day, give it a try again. Don't over push, but always push just a little bit. Just, just, just get momentum, build. So it's okay. It's okay if you're physically limited. It's okay if you're overweight. I'm not going to yell at you. Okay. I'm not going to, can you be better? Yes, I can be better. I am currently physically limited. I currently am overweight and I'm having medical issues that I'm working around. So why would I judge you? Okay. Now, I'm not going to say this will turn you into an Olympic grade, you know, super fencer, or this will give you the equivalent of a black belt, blah, blah, blah. No, I don't build masters. I build beginners. And when beginners decide they want mastery, they find it. But everybody has to start as a beginner. And there's no reason to limit yourself. There's also no reason to unjustly beat yourself up for an honest assessment. Just the opponent isn't the, the guy down the street. It isn't the guy who's got, you know, a foot and a half on you, has been fencing his whole life, or is built like a dancer. We've all seen these guys. Or women. Most of, most of my favorite sorts of people are women. I like women. But you, man, woman, other, we live in a realm where other is far more interesting than it used to be. Not, no judging. I just don't always have the verbiage, so I don't try. Well, I allow people to set their own verbiage usually. My point being, you can do this. Pick up a sword. Grab a manual, grab a mirror. So you can see what you're doing. Look up the, the, the training videos. Ask questions on my site. I will answer them. If you look through the comments, I must always answer. Usually long-winded. If it's something a lot of people, I'll do a video about it. If you ask me, Nick, can you do a video showing X, Y, or Z? If it's in my ability, I'll shoot the video for you. Might take a minute, you know, but I'll do it. I want to help folks. That's why I did this. This is why I'm not, you know, pay me X amount, amount a month. Now, that being said, I am supported by my Patreon. My patrons, both of them, are some of the best people in the world because as dark as stuff has gotten for me and as tight as things, that little tiny bit of money has given me the hope and it's allowed me that, to sock it away for me to need the things that either help this, this you know, channel go or just help us survive. That's part of why we're able to do with the really cool stuff that's coming. So thank you. 
If you want to be a patron, I'm going to put the link in. I always do. The end of video links are almost always the same. Uh, but the subscribers, you guys, if people don't watch, I can't help you. I don't feel I'm doing good. So the more people I'm helping, the more people who engage, the better everybody does. That's what I want. I didn't get into this necessarily to become like big Billy Bad Bofo, you know, with a sword. I had stuff I wanted to work through, and then after I it helped me, I want to give back by letting it help you. So we can all do this, okay? We don't have to wait till January 1st to say New Year's resolution. The, revo the resolution is a revolution. You're going to come back to it. Don't think I'm going to start, because you're going to start, you're going to fall down. Maybe little, maybe big, but you're going to fall. Everybody does. You're going to hurt yourself, or you can get distracted, or you get sad. Or things are going to fall through. It happens. It doesn't matter. When you realize it has, you have the ability, you just start engine back up. And that's what I want to try to help for. So I am literally pulling for you. I am literally praying for you. Maybe that's not popular right now, and I certainly mean no offense, but... I sincerely wish all of you the best. And if you have any comments, questions, please do it. As always, I would like if you feel found it in your hearts to like, share, subscribe. Hit that little bell so you don't miss anything. And uh, if you really find it in your heart, throw some money in Patreon. Right now, it's not that I give patrons a lot extra because I want everybody to have it. And it's not like it's me being ungrateful. It's what I'm about. So if you want to aid in that mission, please do. And uh, great things are coming. So as always, support your local Swordmaster.